Hi and welcome to my seventh video in the series about energy and ecosystems. systems and today we're going to look at some exam questions. And so these are all taken from the AQA Biology Unit 4 um, module um, and these are the ones that are specifically to do with energy and ecosystems. So the first one, the diagram shows the organisms in the food web, name the secondary, name all the secondary consumers in the food web. So this is our producer, these first ones are therefore our primary consumers and so therefore um, so you're looking at the secondary consumers, so it's the stickleback, the caddisfly larvae and the stonefly larvae. You need to name all of them in order to get the mark. Two, um, use the diagram to explain the likely effect of a sudden decrease in the stickleback population on the population of the mayfly larvae. So, what they're saying is, the stickleback population goes down. And so what they're then saying is what happens to the number of mayfly larvae, so this one over here. So, if you think about it, because there are less um, of the sticklebacks, there's less predation on the freshwater shrimps, so you can expect their numbers to go up. The single cell producers, because there's more freshwater shrimps, um, there's more competition for food, and therefore the numbers of the single cell producers goes down. And so with reduced numbers of their food, you would expect the mayfly larvae to reduce as well. And so it's just explained, and so the marks that allow on the mark scheme well. Reduced predation not being eaten um, results in more freshwater shrimps. An increased competition for food and resources, um, and so therefore the producers go down because they're being eaten, and therefore less food resources for the mayfly, and so you'd expect them to reduce. 2B. The pyramid of energy for this food web is shown below. The bars are drawn to the same scale. Use the pyramid of energy to calculate the percentage efficiency of energy transfer between producers and primary consumers and show your workings. So the producers we're going to represent in blue and the primary consumers in green. And so you can see here that the blue bar is the producers, the green one is the primary consumers. And so the values that we gather for those, if we just use these figures, there's no units required because it's just simply a percentage. So our primary um, consumers would equal 10 on this scale and the producer would equal 56. And so it's 10 over 56 times by 100. Um, and so your percentage efficiency would be 17.86. I think on the mark scheme it says they allow anything between 16.5 and, a half and um, 18 and a half. 2B part 2. The average efficiency of energy transfer between producers and primary consumers in pyramids is around 10%. So just why the efficiency of energy transfer from producers to primary consumers in this food web is higher than 10%. So, something along the lines of the single cell producers are more digestible um, and so they lose less energy in faeces and things like that. Um, and so obviously referencing the fact that more of the, more of the producer gets consumed or isn't passed out as faeces or excreted um, would gain a mark there. Um, all of the producer eaten um, or parts of the plant um, are not eaten um, and so this is saying that in the majority, you know, if you think about what other organisms eat animals, usually you have the bones left over and so what this is saying is most of the producer is eaten um, and so there's no wastage there um, and so there's also less heat loss or energy loss f or less respiration, um, less energy loss through respiration and so any of those um, is a mark. Energy from the sun, so 2C, energy from the sun may ultimately end up in dead plant matter, describe how. So you've got to explain how it goes from the sun into dead material, or just in plant material in general. And so in order to get energy from the sun, the plant must photosynthesize. Um, and then from there, it uses the products of the photosynthesis to make carbon containing substances and therefore that could end up in the dead material. So you have to say photosynthesis and then using the products of photosynthesis to produce carbon-containing substances, glucose for instance, cellulose, starch, 